Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Do, 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 do. All right. All right, guys, we are back. It is week 34, doing more Sega Genesis. You can see here that the first game we are going to be playing tonight is Dynamite Heady, which was suggested by Soul. I've actually been very curious about this game, and kind of for a silly reason. Um, an old Newgrounds Flash video. Uh, it was called uh, A Big Black Guy Named Bass. It, it took the audio from, like, some... Uh, joke commercial or whatever it was, but it used uh, Mega Man graphics and sprites and all that um, to make a little video with it, with the audio. And uh, the announcer guy at the end, especially when it's rattling off like the phone number, he used the sprite for Dynamite Heady. So when I saw this game and I saw the box, I'm like, oh, Dynamite Heady. That's where that sprite is from. It just stuck in my mind because I used to watch that, uh, that Flash animation uh, a bunch. Um, and even recently... Uh, I'd gone back and watched some old Newgrounds Flash videos. And uh, so I saw that. I was like, okay, so that makes me especially curious. So uh, I, I really did want to check this game out, even if it's just for a really silly reason. So let me go ahead and load up Dynamite Heady. I should do a stream playing old Newgrounds Flash games. You know what, Mag? That's actually not a bad idea. Um, I'd have to like, I should probably like find all of like my old favorites and whatnot. Cause I still remember quite a few of them. Yeah, I think I still have Toe Jam and Earl on a list somewhere. Was there, you say the first one, was there another, um, this is just the demo. You, was there another Toe Jam and Earl? I don't know if I've ever heard about, uh, it having a sequel. And if so, I just, like, don't remember it or forgot. Uh, do Flash games still work? Yes. Um, it's the, it's the plugin that, that got, uh, like, basically axed. But a lot of them switched over, so, um, I'm not sure what it uses. I don't know, does it use HTML5? Or, I don't know what it, what it uses to load. But, like, um, I'm pretty sure that they made the transition a long time ago, like, on Newgrounds and all that. Um, I'm pretty sure... Unless I'm remembering something wrong, I have since the change, I have not actually checked new grounds, but I want to say that you can still um you can still do things on there. There's a program that has all the new grounds flash games since Flash no longer runs the old games. Well, I know that there was that whole like project, right, to to keep certain things alive, but like it's only what's ever been submitted or was was on the the thing. But yeah, I know the the whole thing with Flash going away made me sad though. Oops. Uh, let me see. I have, I have no idea what cancel head means. I guess we'll end up finding out. The second one was a side scroller. See, I don't think I've I don't think I've ever seen the uh, the second Toe Jam and Earl. Then I've only seen some gameplay of the first one from some other people playing it. There's a sequel on the Genesis. Don't remember what it's called. Yeah, the the first one definitely seems like it uh, it also would be more fun with two players. All right. Oops. He's making lots of head puns. Well, we're on fire. We need some puns in here. We need some Cutman puns. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start the timer. Yes! Hey, on fire. You're pretty much just in time. Cast of Puppets. James and Mike played it once long ago. That's one of the people that uh, I've seen uh, play it, Captain N. Maybe like one other uh, video I've seen, but they were the main ones uh, that I saw. Hangman. The fuck? Phew. Everything was fine, and just all of a sudden everything's just on fire. Oh, that's me. Oh, and I'm caught. Oh, that's it. Game over. You're dead.
Welcome, DT Imperial World. What the hell is Dark Demon? It's the princess! She's going... Oh, 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 oh. Trouble burn? You're rattling off all these names like I know what they mean, though. That we've been rejected. It's like uh, in Willy Wonka, we're a bad egg, so we get dropped down the chute. Oh, we incensed the incinerator. <laughs> so fuck that! Oh. You got like a bunch of brothers or something? The getaway! So we can attack with our head in whatever direction we fire it at. Jump, and I don't know what cancel head means. I press it, it doesn't seem to like retract my head back. No tactics here, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of this with my head repeatedly until it blows up. I only know this very beginning part just from sound testing. Big head for big boys! She's so capturing our little buddies, but it's okay, we're gonna we're gonna free them. I got a super bonus something? I don't know what she said. Yeah, it's like a Dr. Robotnik uh mech. I didn't really pay attention. Who made this game? Was is this is this by like the same thing as like the Sonic team or something like that? Because you do get some Sonic vibes from like the, the way it looks for sure on this. Kinda like just like Rise Star. Same thing. Blue Maximus Flashpoint. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. Is it like a is this like a play? Because it's acting like this is on a stage. So why am I fighting a cat? It's also immune to my head. They're bringing in- oh, they're bringing in the- uh, they're bringing in the backdrop! It's like we're perform- we're performing- alright. Where's my hit points anyways? I don't even see where- where's my life at? And how do I damage this guy? Cause this doesn't- ow! Oh, the thing in the top left, that light is my health. So I guess I'm low now. Except, I don't really know. Okay, right, so if I'm trapped in the corner like that, it just keeps hurting me. Also, I'm gonna die. I don't see where you're supposed to damage this guy. I can't, like... And, see, he, then, he, and then he gets... He gets too close to me! Where do I go? He's charging up the spirit bomb. Oh, I gotta start back here. That's lame. E Honda stage. Yeah, I'm gonna go flying into the background into the uh, into the tub. I just love Garfield. If it was Garfield, wouldn't it? Uh, Cat would have had uh, orange with black stripes. At least this first part's easy. I can literally just like mash him with no danger, but um, I'm up for uh, any suggestions on how I'm supposed to fight that cat, because I didn't see what I could do. I got a super bonus clue. Is that what she's saying? The audio quality is not great on that one. Unless I'm, unless I'm, hold on, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not realizing I can do something else. Maybe I can do some other kind of attack. Maybe I can charge my head up. Can I charge it up? No. What does cancel head do? It doesn't do anything. Can I only maybe hit it when it's, like, falling over or something like that? Okay, so what I need to do is not go... Okay, ow. Oh, oh, I have to hit it from the front? In the head only, maybe? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe I gotta hit... I got a hair in my face and it's distracting me. So the way is I have to... The whole time I was going backwards, that was getting me hurt. I, I either need to hit it right at that correct timing, or I need to hit it in its head. And I might have just missed my attack opportunity. 
I'm trying to see if I can... It's called... It's called a beard! I have a stray hair on my face. Okay, how am I supposed to get close enough? You can't get close enough. There's too many balls in my face. If I could launch my head further... Farther, I should say. Okay, well, that, I hit it there. Oh, it's... I'll take it. Secret points, one out of one. What was the secret that I got? I'm dribbling my own head. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Alright, now you're just showing off. <laughs> Perfect! Practice... Oh, now we're at the practice area? What do you mean, the practice area? Hello? Right, I can't tell what's foreground, background, or what's an enemy. Pointing me this way, though. Okay, sure, we'll go in. Hey, piggy. <laughs> Hello, Hetty. I'm Headcase. Hit me to change your head? Practice now to see what sorts of heads you have. Hold up. Come here and let me change my head. What the fuck? It's, it's just, it's firing on its own. Alright, this creates a ring around me. My head is a bomb. How do I detonate? Also, I think... Okay, hold up. Now I just have a strong hammerhead. Ah! I can't try them all. They're, they're popping up too fast. So I'm trying to do different ones. I want that one. What is this one? Oh my god! I'm Kirby! Alright, this one's overpowered. Hey, bro. Cuphead vibes. You know, I, I can see how a little bit. Congrat- Okay, I have a piggy nose. Congratulations, you just got a secret bonus. I got a bonus for what? <laughs> what the hell's going on? Don't lose your head, Hetty. Alright, cool. So maybe, maybe the cancel head is necessary for the other ones I have. Or the other ones that I can get. She's gone from suck to blow! Hello, Hetty. I'm Hangman. Grab me and then let- and then let go to move things around. Practice now to see how I can help you move. Oh, okay, it's just a grip point. Now, what if I do it at an angle? Okay, it will kind of hold the angle. Oh, I can- I can hold it and then release whenever I want to move. I don't have to- oh, okay, here we go. No! Oh, come on, I jumped. Oh, shit! Grip! Okay, and even when my bottom half, like, moves away from me, I can still kind of, like, do that. Okay. It's kind of nice that they're actually giving me these practice areas so I can actually learn my movement and stuff. Oops! You know what? Oh, I missed with my mouth. At least it's kind of just throwing me back up. Well, you know what I mean. I don't have to wait for my body to catch up to throw the next head. Oh, shit! I have to continuously... Wait. Oh, get up! What the hell? I, I, well, I technically barely made it. I don't know if that really counts, though. <laughs> I'm grabbing it between his legs with my mouth. Ah. <laughs> 
Oh, you just woke up from your old man nap? I should have figured. I'll catch you later, Hetty. I don't think you probably can't go back in, can you? Meet. Meet Pew. Hello, Hetty. I'm Pew. Watch. Watch me to see where Keymaster weak spots are. Practice now and see how I help you to, to attack. Okay. So you just like... What retail store has the cheapest prices? Target! 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 Where do I buy all my best goods? Target! Target! Amazon! Walmart! Target! Alright, I get the idea. We don't- Ah, uh, okay. He's gonna get me. Jesus. Ah. No. Ah. Ah, too much! Too fast! Too furious! <laughs> we did it. He's got wings like, uh, like Kid Icarus. <laughs> so you get the point, Teddy? Ho <laughs> Winko, Safeway, Pharmacy! <laughs> oh my gosh. Any more practice areas? Nope, it's just danger time. Toys in in the hood. Dynamite Hetty, now on sale. You can buy it at Target, Target. I'm trying to see kind of like if I latch onto that. How much oh look, I can Oh, I can kind of slingshot so I can grab it and then I can I can literally walk away from my own head. Look at this shit. How far can I stretch it? Okay, there's a limit to it. Oh, and that would make sense why sometimes I felt like I wasn't moving up that high. I wasn't slingshotting enough. Oh god! What did I just get? Oh, that's... For some reason, I read that as S-O-D sawed, like sawed off, but I think that was just a 500 pointer. Yeah, it's just 500 points. I don't know why I saw the word sod. Sod off. Does he, does he just like, then fall to his death? Ouch. Yeah, get out of here. Direct nerd. Oh. Okay. This is, it makes a figure eight? This is a weird power-up. Now, if I do that... Okay. That's... Oh, cancel head. Okay, so yeah, it literally is just that. I want to try this one out. This one's weird. Does X7 even lag in the X collection? That's terrible. Get in the hole. <laughs> Oh, but with this, I can't latch- Oh, it ran out on its own by time, I guess. Or maybe ammo. But I, I wouldn't be able to maneuver around if I'm not using my regular head. Okay. Oh, yeah, give me them sweet points! Except for I can't, like, I can't move it like this. Oh, God! Fight me like a man! I can't reach you, because there's nothing for me to grab to. Oh shit, oh shit! I released the Kraken! Wait, there's a secret over there. There's a secret over there! Ah, oh, I can't go back that way. Well, well. Probably missed a secret down there. Oh well. 
the hell am I invisible? Oh, some of the heads can still grip. Okay. Maybe the ones that like fire weaponry or fire bullets can't. Okay, that's health. All right, that's not so bad then. I didn't really miss too much. It's a secret target. <laughs> target. Oh, th those are the lights flickering. Oh, oh, feet. Nasty ass feet. <laughs> Meta Knight. Kind of, huh? Yeah, get over. Give me my friends back. I want my family back. Oh shit, he's sucking me in. Crash dummy's feet could have been. Whatever happened to the crash dummies? Oh god, what the hell? Are they still a thing? Oh, I grabbed I grabbed the sleepy one. This is just like in Kirby. Get rid of that. I'm tiny. I don't want that. Shit, I'm just, I'm tiny now. Great. Oh, but I can go this way. Never mind. This is interesting. Now you can all go to Target. Yeah, different. <laughs> I just got yourself on fire. Different uh, heads fire different. Shall we say ammo? Oh, sh oh, I I just I blatantly dismissed that that was a hole. I'm dumb. They got me. Ah, oh, well, that's it for that. <laughs> you think they went out of business thanks to LJN? Great. Oh, there we go. Mad Dog and Hetty. But you again? Why is it just your head? Oh shit, you got a new body. Oh, get whomped on. Okay, so that's what the target thing is for. Alright. I got something for you now. Okay, why say to go- Oh, it, that's just telling you where it's gonna land, not to be there. Okay. For some reason, I just kinda like interpreted that as, You need- You should go here. Ow, alright. Okay, and so the- And the weak spot isn't changing. Oh, I froze it in, in place. Give me your tail. I thought that the uh, the guy was gonna repeatedly show up to tell me like a new target every time. I didn't think uh, it was only gonna show up the one time. I'm also gonna die because I didn't understand what was going on at first. What the hell am I? What am I? Look at my head. I can't, I can't move. I can't move. I'm too slow. <laughs> the fuck? I know. What is this game? <laughs> Gonna screenshot the target. <laughs> Alright, now that we understand. I also just noticed. Was that E always there? Is that the enemy's H uh, HP? Maybe, yeah, because it's turning yellow now. And it's throwing a ball at me every time. Oh god, and it's different things every time. Oh, I got wings on my thing now. I can jump higher. And I'm faster. Shoot, I keep grabbing new powers. I don't... I don't... Well, I guess that one works out. Frozen in place. Yeah! Give me that! Give me that key! Hey, Lobo. A gooey Lobo? A GUI Lobo? I recognize you. Why did I have a Jinx Pokemon head? I don't know, man. Why do I have any of these heads? Was it a weird Sega attempt at a Kirby clone? I mean, honestly, it gives, it gives kind of vibes of Kirby with me picking up the different powers like that. It's weird. Augie Lobo? Gotcha. Or, o Ogie? Ogie or Augie? Also, I'm in love, apparently, and she ran off with the key! I've been swindled. Horn swoggled. Bamboozled, even. We're going down under. Also, I don't know if this game has continues. We're going to make save states just to be safe. Oh, 
Oh shit, oh shit, uh, 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 oh, do I, do I slip off? Hold up, oh, I'm slipping off. Oh, I can, I can actually move up and down now on these parts. Oh god. That's actually kind of cool. It's a weird perspective. That's health. I walked too far! <laughs> this is trippy. Okay, this is really throwing me off. What other game has done this kind of perspective shift like this? That's weird. Try to make sure, like, I pay attention and I don't slip off the land. Although, at least if I fall, I don't instant die. I just take damage. It's actually really nice. Other games would just be like, oh, you fell, you're dead instantly. Your health bar doesn't matter. I'm trying to aim it, it's, it's weird. It's weird trying to aim this when it shifts perspective like that. It's like an extra life, I guess. It's trippy, but I like it. It's interesting. It's different. And you let yourself get caught again. Backstage battle. Again, the cat. It just the cat keeps coming back. I gotta break free. Got a secret bonus point. Super bonus point. Yeah, okay, great. What does it do me? I want a different head. Yeah, okay, you want me to go? I can't tell what it wants me to do. I can hit it when it gets close enough like that, but that's about it. I, I'm barely able to keep track of where the heck I am. This head is a total drag. Like the vacuum, the vacuum one's no good. I gotta, I gotta ditch it. There we go, come on. Now let me go. All right, we're free. That's what it seems like, Mag, right? It's just like, it's it's like a play. Like we're making, like we're performing on stage. Oh, oh, bonus game. Okay, make, okay, make five shots. How do I do that? Oh, I gotta like, Oh god, you really want me to like make shots like this? Is it better to just keep hitting up and hope I get it or do I have to really try to time it? This seems not easy. Get in there. Need what, two more? Oh, that's not making it in. I'm trying to throw the... Oh, that one went in there. I didn't mean for that one, but I'll take it. Oh, okay, and there's, so there's some bomb ones. Okay, that's what I was noticing. How much time do I have? I'm just gonna run out of balls. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to aim this. Well, I got like, what, four? I only made three. Why did I count that other one at the end? It's just one <laughs> massive LSD trip. It, it could be, why not both? <laughs> it's both a play and a trip. 
I'm trying to get my balls in the hole, man. I can't do it. My head's not strong enough. <laughs> I was I was terrible at aiming at the target, apparently. I don't want this sleeping one. Look, look at all it does. It just puts me to sleep. Yeah, get rid of that crap. Thanks. Guest puppet invited. Is he got a, a tuxedo pants? What the hell? It looks like the top half of a tuxedo, but except for he's wearing it on the bottom half. Oh, well, he's kind of splendid too. The puppeteer and his marionette. Okay, hitting him does not make him back off though. Oh, now you want to- what are you gonna do? Your puppet's gone! Oh shit, he's gonna swing at me, probably. See, I would think that those chains would be hurting me, but they're not. I don't know if he can actually do anything at that point. It's a Tuxpedo! There you go! Coin that term, Tuxpedo. Maybe it's actually a term already. Use some health. Oh, there's the- it's got the keys in his head. Oh, okay, yeah, I hit him in the chest. Yeah, okay, uh, you will do. Let me just give her power first. Oh, triple shot, yeah. Now hit him in the feet. So I'm gonna break all of the costume. Gotcha, okay. Now hurt him in where it hurts. Right in his heart. I'm trying to put on the show and the cat is jealous. It's because the cat ain't the star, I am. Oh, I froze time, but that doesn't really do me any good unless I know what I'm aiming for. Okay, the head. Okay, I'm dead. I aimed for the head and now I'm dead. The spotlight's mine now, that cat can't have it back. Is his name in the title of the game? I didn't think so. You want to wear your pants and your chest on the way to work? I mean, you can do it. I don't know how, how well it'll go over. Or you, maybe you could be a trendsetter. Like, Johnson, I like your thinking. We're going to adopt that as a company policy. Everybody, wear your pants on your chest. It's our new company policy. <laughs> Knocking its clothes off. Is this appropriate? Oh, come on, let me just hit you a little more in the heart. Just a little more. <laughs> I want to grab the freaking new head. Give me that. I'm just gonna assume everything's the target. Anything that he knew he's wearing, it's the target. Okay, why am I... Okay, show me the next thing that I can hit. Aw, oh, time is up. No! Oh, we just hit game over, too. Oh, oh, there's no continues. <laughs> right as the timer went off. Oh, man. Well, I guess that's a good time to end it there because we died and there's no continues. Holy shit. <laughs> take it off. Take it all off. The back, now the, the back door is the target. <laughs> oh, interesting game. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. It's a, I think some parts are a little chaotic in terms of what's on the screen. Much how I feel like Sonic can sometimes feel too fast to me. 
for here, it's very brightly colored. Like, it's it's very colorful. There's a lot on the screen. But I feel like almost to the point where it's a little too hard to see and differentiate things. I half the time can't see between me and the enemies in the background and the, and the boss and the different objects and, and the power-up thing with the different heads. It's a little too... Too much visual information for me to easily discern, but that's just my uh, personal thing. I, I, in general, I prefer games that are a little kind of easier to. Uh, oh, that's how you get that to tell things apart. But uh, fun game, interesting, weird. Really could use some continues though. I'm gonna break the targets like Smash Brothers. All right, all right. Let's uh. Let's kill that one. Interesting game. I like that one. It is a neat little game. You're going to start after you're going to start shopping at a Target. You can always just shop online at Target. <laughs> uh, okay. Let us, uh, let's switch. Where's my thing? Uh, I'm so confused by Target. All right, let's change up to the next one. All right. Oh, I need to change. Oh, see, I almost forgot to do this. I gotta change the audio. D. Okay. We are now switching to a game called Ranger X. This is suggested by Jason Groove Machine. This one's also gonna be interesting. Who was the targeted audience for that game it was you guys let's load up ranger x jason x in the wild west <laughs> So fucking metal! Ugh. Is it just gonna be the credits? Is, is it gonna show story at all? I'm letting it go because I wanna see if it's gonna have any story elements. Reset that. Does it take place in space? I'm pretty sure it does. Or I'm pretty sure there's gonna be parts of it that do. I think this is just the credits. We'll let the credits kind of go for a while. I kind of like this music. It's kind of chill. Oh, it blew up! <laughs> Kevin Space on. <laughs> Spa sun, Spock sun. Uh, wow, it's easy, normal, hard, heavy. Who names the harder difficulty heavy? Oh, Doc, this is heavy. I know, it's a Gundam. It kind of makes you think that. Uh, I'm actually going to leave the controls the default because of the little bit that I messed around with. It actually makes very very much sense to, to keep the controls the way they are. It's actually more convenient for your fingers. Looks like a discount Gundam. Well, I mean, you say that, but like, look at it when, it, when we actually get into the game. You're really probably not that far off, honestly. So uh, let's just not waste any time. Let's jump right into it. Let's go ahead and get started. There we go. Now do we get story? There we go. Initialize. 
Everything's got EX on it. Because we're in the future. Heavy rank relatable. You're right, if, if they had to use the uh, the Gundam name, they'd have to pay fees. Ow, alright, calm down. So, it's kind of interesting. The way you move around in this game is... You don't like... It's like, it's free-flying movement, and you can shoot... There's that, that's why there's two shoot buttons. You can shoot to the right, and you can shoot to the left. And you can also fire your special weapon, which you can see in the bottom right has a power meter for it. These devices, they refill your energy, and then this little thing, it'll actually follow along with you and shoot as well, but you can also connect to it. So now I'm kind of like riding it, or I can even fully combine with it and kind of bring it along, and it has its own health meter. But this is also where I switch weapons. I can switch out between these two shots. I can either do flamethrower or this one, which is really awesome, and it does that. And so you can like... You can ride on it, you can ride in it, you can separate from it, it'll follow you. It's, uh, it's, it's interesting. At first I thought the controls would be kind of, like, weird with flying around like that, but, uh, it's actually kind of cool. I thought it was gonna be maybe kind of like, uh... Makes you think of, um... Metal Warriors for the Super Nintendo. Just looking at the mech initially from, like, when I saw from, like, a demo thing of it. Oh, God. But it's actually, it's, it's kind of different. I'm not so worried about my health right now because I will get uh, opportunity to heal. Yeah, ar the Armored Core series is awesome. I've only played a few of the games, but the ones that I did play, I did like. Try to just quickly dispose of those. I'm not so worried about my health again because there's gonna be. I know that there's a, a health recovery thing, and then we'll be good. So, like, right here. So as long as I stand in it, it kind of makes me think of uh, F Zero, just the sound it's making, just watching the life meter go up. Because my health is separate, I have to make sure I heal both. And there's no apparent time limit, so I can, I can just kind of sit here freely and fully heal up. There you go. Yeah, kind of like a 2D armor core. I love using this blue weapon. It's super overpowered. It's so good. But I can only fire it when I'm not in the in my little like I say kind of like a little motorcycle. I don't know what you would call this. Is that commander? Our commander? Stage done? Stage done. Oh, it just ends. Okay. Oh, everyone's running. Kill everyone! Oh, someone getting captured? Looks like it. Oh, God. This place is going. Just pop this change maybe to the flamethrower here. Where is the weak point? I'm hitting it somewhere up there. Just this colored shit. When you're in the bike itself, it, it kind of that's this is when it, like it auto aims. It's like the bolts are actually like aiming for me. I'm just gonna stay in this like this. I'm sure. I'm just gonna hit it safely. I don't need to move. Yeah, it's fucking huge. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, just think of it as a... As a Genesis Armored Core. The precursor to Armored Core. Except for an Armored Core, you'd actually get different parts, and you could, like... Uh, what I really liked was uh, customizing your own mech, right? Making it fight the way you want. I thought that was one of the coolest parts about it, you know? You can go for something bigger, tanky, or something, like, swift, but, you know, more of a glass cannon. Something with a really big fucking gun. It was a giant mother brain. Giant metal mother brain. Oh, alright, alright. Jesus. 
Now, I don't know what happens if my bike gets destroyed. Are we kind of connected if one dies, both die? It's almost like the way you can dodge shots is really just by standing up or crouching back into your, uh, your little bike thing. She was the target. She was. Wait, what's hurting? Hell is hurting me. Let me change. There we go. I'll take that. I guess maybe the the water. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that would make sense. Can I like? I can't. I guess I can. Now, how do I bring? All right, I got something. Okay, a new weapon I can use, I guess. How do I, I can't recall my uh, thing over to me, can I? These are here, but what do I care? Oh, I'm out of power, I, I drained all my power. Well, I can't use this, what's the new weapon? Electricity? Like a, an electric shield? I don't know what the... I don't know what that is. How do I get back in my... Just, we should keep, the, keep this for now. We should have this thing follow me right now since its HP is weakened. Also, wait. How do I get power back? I thought it would charge up over time. Maybe it charges when I'm in my unit? No. Oh, shoot. I burnt out all my power. Whoops! Make you a robot too? It might. Are you a robot on fire? Somebody try speaking to uh, on fire in ones and zeros. See if he responds. It's a little weird trying to get used to the movement because I I don't stand still. If I don't like keep tapping the direction, I I stop floating. Trying to maintain my position. Ow! God, this shit hurts. <laughs> God, now, now you guys just look like a bunch of bots. Got a bunch of bots in my chat. Report them. Can I get over this or no? There we go. Probably should have gone up. You know what? Hold up, hold up. I should honest. I really should see. Oh shit! How do I get back? Uh. It's almost like I bothered. I need this thing to move with me. Get over here. I can't. Okay, I can't go backwards. Do I even need to kill this? Cause I'm about to die. Get for blowing these things up. Oh, what the f- uh, what? What killed me? Did I crash into some rocks? D did these hurt me? Also, I probably should have just gone back to that healing unit from before. There's a thing here I need to destroy. How do I hit this? Because I can't aim. I need my bike with me. <laughs> you must pro. You must pro. How can I get this thing to come up with me? I don't think I can. I don't know what they expect me to do there. Don't plug him in! Will my bike eventually catch up on its own? Okay, it does. I'm 
trying to think, maybe there's some way I can like call my bike to me. Jeez, they take a lot of shots to kill. Oh, Jesus, all right. Okay, clearing the path is gonna be kind of... Oh god, it's just because these things come out of the, the walls. They come out of the rocks when you shoot them. <laughs> Maybe that's why there's stuff coming out of them. Oh god, oh god, I'm surrounded by him. Ah! Fuck. Shit. I thought I could just burst it down real quick. It was literally like 2 HP from dying. That's lame. Well, it's a good thing it's giving me continues, but I'm gonna burn them all up real fast. I wanna turn, turn around. See, I'm like, I break those and it's like deactivating, uh, like, gates for something or whatever. So I assume I have to be breaking all of these. Okay, it's really annoying that I can't aim up at those, though. I think I got, like, one continue left. Jesus, really? Seems like I don't even need to kill, so I should just get past it. I should just keep going for whatever this thing's telling me to target. Cause it's saying the thing I need to like destroy is over here, so I'm just gonna go for it. I got no HP left. That's a good question. I, I would guess I'm someone in a robot, but it didn't show anything like in a cutscene to show uh, if I'm a pilot or if I actually am the robot. I, yeah, this is my last continue. Wow, this is, okay. This is gonna be one of those. Admittedly, you're a little weak when you uh, when you don't have any power to use up. I don't I don't know where I get weapon energy back. I guess I cleared the level. It just ends, it just, you're still fighting stuff, but the level just ends. I have no continues left. Why even bother making a safe state? <laughs> Maybe I just need to go for my targets only. Oh God. I need to switch my, um, my whatchamacallit. You know what I probably should have done? I probably should have used this. Maybe this, like, electric shield or something like that would have been more useful. I kind of forgot that I had picked it up. <laughs> you can't say Android without droids! You also can't, uh, you can't spell slaughter without laughter. That's another one. Oh, Jesus, he came out and just busted out! Shit. Oh my god, he's fast as hell! Uh, I don't know if I'm doing anything like this. Oh my god, it hurts like hell. Alright, we're wearing it down. Oh my god, big ass laser. How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? Shit. 
I don't think that's gonna reach it. Oh my gosh. Oh, fuck! Oh no! Wow. Alright, let's give it another shot. This is, I, cause I didn't have a state right, hold up, it's, it's fucking, what does easy do? <laughs> this is on normal, forget hit, forget hard and heavy. Now that I kind of have a better idea of what I'm doing, we gotta get back there at least and beat that guy. Alright, we're gonna speed run this shit right here. Well, we did technically have continues, but it, it was more like those were like, I don't know, extra lives, really, the way they were kind of being used. I mean, the game gave me, like, what, three, I think? Okay, we're just, because I know there's a health thing at the end here, I'm literally just gonna plow through. <laughs> Play it on heavy. I ain't a pussy. Just clear all this crap. Get healed up. See, I, I was under the assumption maybe we get more of these healing things throughout the stages, but maybe not. Maybe it's just for this first stage, just so you get used to it. Maybe I just needed to abuse that one that I'd found in that stage and just gone back to it repeatedly. That's probably what I should have done. I thought that maybe I would just come across another one. So each mission is just comprised of an objective, and the, the radar at the top tells you what it is. In this case, it's just blow up all these, like, these launching units. I could be a cat in disguise. I mean, I could be. How would you guys know, though? Yeah, see, I mean, at least it gives me something. Yeah, well, I, I ain't one of those people. I don't play enough Doom. Yeah, dude, Doom is on fire's thing. He can, he can he can go play the Doom for me. On fire is the Doom guy. I'm just gonna stay like this because it auto aims it. That is one thing I'll say that is kind of annoying. When I'm just in my regular like mech thing, I can't uh, I can't shoot like any direction because my my the D pad just is is my full movement. It's how I fly around. I can't aim. You can only do that when you're in the bike like this, and it just auto-aims then. It's kind of limiting. I thought he was an accountant. So basically here, I can, I can kind of just like... Some of the stuff I shouldn't even bother shooting at. I should just fly straight to the objectives and destroy those. I feel like. Also, I just realized that whole thing there is comprised of just actual one stage. Let me make a save state, but it's not going to matter for too much here. So I need to be very conservative with my health. Now, I can I can take some damage, because I know I'll get a recharge over there, but I need to save my power. I don't know how you get power back. I think I just need to be a little more patient. I think I was just trying to be a little too gung-ho before. Here we go. Just let the aiming do the work for me. Oh, oh shit, I forgot. I cannot be in that. Now, it's almost like... Okay, and the... Okay, so these don't fight back because they lost their power. That's why those were fighting back, but the other ones were. I don't really care what damage I'm taking here because I'm getting healed anyways. You get power back by joining Nintendo. I don't need to shoot these. Fuck these things. Here, hold up, hold up. Bike, you need to just keep up with me. It's almost like I gotta back off. I don't really have any other way of dodging. You won't do it because you you can't handle the pressure of trying to beat the game on a single life. 
hardcore. Oh god. Yeah, the bike is not perfect. It's it's nice to have it, but it has its limitations. Almost like anytime I think spawn, maybe that's when I need to switch sides. Okay, nope, I'm just gonna generate bolts on both sides of me. Uh <laughs> Oh god, god, the bullets last a long time. Alright, the power source, you know, but I don't, I don't need to get the power source. Let's ignore it, right? What do we say? I just need to focus on things that I need to kill. Alright, that's two left. Gonna be one here. Well, what's nice is this thing also does give me another uh, another health bar to work with. So then here, I need to get out of it and let it catch up to me, I guess. Somehow the bike is then able to traverse when I'm not in it for whatever reason. <laughs> Robo Senpai. Yeah, it's almost like you just. I guess I could fly. The bike doesn't take damage if I'm not in it anymore, so I could always just, like, hop out of it. It's a little awkward to dodge, though. Oh, that's right, I gotta go through all this crap with all the things sprouting out of it. Great. Oh, God. You know what? I gotta go get health. Can I go back to that thing? I gotta get health for me, because otherwise I'm about to die. I need to be smart about this. Right? Where's that health? Uh, one more over. That's the sound I think my bike trying to maneuver along the path. Yeah, it did, yeah, I know, it kind of is. You know, it never makes sense. It's like, why don't the vehicles have their own health? It's the same for the Turtles game. Your turtle health becomes the health of the van for some reason. Ouch. Because <laughs> that, yeah, see, that device, it doesn't refill my power meter. Shoot. It'd be convenient as hell if a bike was following me everywhere I went. Tired of walking? Just hop on the bike. No, I just want to get in my bike. Oh, God. Never mind. Good enough. All right, now we're gonna go refill up on health one more time while our bike tries to keep up with us. Oh, wait, I need to get on there. They really could have just put another one up closer to me. Come on, it's gonna make me go back for this shit. Is it out of juice? Oh, look at that. It doesn't fully heal. It has limited... Oh, damn. All right, well, I think we have enough. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not so much anymore. Yeah, it's <laughs> into the bathroom. You're like, bike, do you mind? I'm trying to use that. It's a boy's room. Going the right way? Do I have to do this to clear the path? Okay, I was really hoping I could just kill this quickly. No, I stepped in the water. Son of a bitch. Yeah, because I need up here, right? Can I clear the path somewhere? Maybe up here. Just 
run past it all. Fuck these guys. Who cares? Get out of my way. I'm not here to kill you. I'm here to kill this. Uh, I'm gonna get surrounded here. Got a little bit of flamethrower I can use. That's about it. Okay, got it. All right, end the level, please. End the level. Just fade to black. <laughs> we'll hover up here until you fade to black. I'm making a safe state. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, fuck those snipers. And then we just keep backing up. We'll get another shot at the boss. And that's going to be about all the time on this one. On fire, I am almost 100% sure you would troll your owner if you were a cat. <laughs> I have, like, no doubt in my mind. <laughs> to be fair, though, wouldn't we all want to do that? If I was a cat, I'd probably troll my owner, too. Oh, also, I just noticed what you wrote, bro. It sucks your power to refill your health. That explains where all the power disappeared to, but I could've... I, I thought that, uh... But wait a minute, though. Why isn't that other stage... Like, I was able to just fill up just fully outright? I don't know. So this one, there's no point in running. I just need to just shoot. And occasionally maybe duck. Yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do about that, because there's no way to dodge that. Also, just a quick check. Hey, Kickass, are you still here? I know sometimes your connection will not allow you to stick around, but I want to check if you're here or not, because it's going to determine what I play next for the third game. Ow! I don't know if this is going to hit. That's not going to reach at all. Oh, I have to hold that for it to fire. That's what that one was doing. I'm trying to figure out how that weapon worked. Shit. He kicks ass and chews bubble gum, and he's all out of gum. No, you prick! What does this do when you're running around like an asshole? <laughs> ah. Hey, Karen. All right, cool. Because we're gonna do one of yours uh, uh, next thing, Kickass. I wanted to make sure I did it while you were here. Uh, we got a minute thirty left. We're not gonna get to see much of the next stage here. <laughs> he chews gum and he's all out of ass. <laughs> and Kickass still has lots of ass. It's time to kick bubble gum and chew ass. And I want that ass. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the save slot real quick. I'm going to make a save state here like that. Oh, wow. We have an even, like, bigger ship now. It is help working with us, right? I can't land back on it. I can't very well, like, stick with it. It's just going to help me from the top. I guess it's just going to support me. There's 11 things I got to kill here. 11 of these things. Ow. Can I recharge? Looks like I gotta just like fly straight up and land on it. Nope, it's just a platform I can land on. So I don't get my bike on this one. What the hell is that symbol? Continue maybe? Power up? Different thing I can switch to? I can't switch my things here. Oh. Time's up. Speed run. What are the things that I have to kill? What's blinking 
colors. Oh, it is still just these. Ah! Quick kill everything! We're just gonna fly through where to kill everything real fast! Straight from target to target. I don't feel like there's necessarily much strategy to just get in front of it and just unload on it. It honestly feels like the most effective method. Just get right up on it and just shoot the shit out of it. Hey, 200,000 points. Did I get something for that, maybe? Is that that sound? I see my target! And there's a target, and there's a target, target, target. <laughs> I need a rocket launcher. I think we can do it on this life bar. Come on! Two more! I'm just ignoring all the little mini tanks, I don't care. One left! <laughs> I don't- I used to watch Cow and Chicken. I don't remember that one. But it's been forever. Why am I- why do I have health? What's been healing me along the way? Also, where's my flying ship? Okay, we cleared the level. Or at least part of the level. Aw, oh, we're at a water level. Oh well. We'll stop that one there. Interesting game. Um, I think uh, it's it's kind of a cool concept. The way you uh, you move around, you shoot. The fact that you kind of have like different modes and different ways you fire. I do think it's a little annoying though that because of the nature of how you move, when you're outside of like your little your little bike, I can't like shoot upwards at enemies. I want to be able to shoot upwards at. So that's kind of annoying. But it's it is interesting. It is a different game, and I I, I can appreciate that them them doing something different. Um. So, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I know, man. Fucking cow and chicken. Fucking back in the old uh, cartoon, cartoon days. Jeff Goldenass. Alright, since we got kick-ass here. Uh, oh, I turned off the wrong thing. I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch it up to this game for you. So, let's switch here. Jeff Kaboom! <laughs> All right, for the last game tonight. I want to make sure that Kick-Ass was here for this one. We are going to be playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Hyperstone Heist, as suggested by Kick-Ass. Let's load it up. Now, from what I understand, I, I believe this is essentially the the Genesis's version of Turtles in Time, right? The one for Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo got Turtles in Time. Genesis got Hyperstone Heist. Right? Because it, it really does look like it. Let's kick shell! Let's kick shell! <laughs> but pizza time! <laughs> uh, let's see. Easy, normal, and hard. We're just gonna have an easy... I'm bumping the player count up. I don't care. I'm bumping the continue count up. I don't care. 
that way I don't have to save state. Not that I necessarily would need it, but uh, I'm going to have attack, jump, dash. That's fine. Back attack, I'm going to go ahead and leave on. Color mode. Comic versus anime. I'm going to leave it on the default. It's fine. You always took it as sort of an expansion to Turtles in Time. Okay. Because I honestly don't know. I just heard that I know that it's been kind of described somewhat that way, but I really don't know. Um, I've never really seen the Hyperstone Heist. I always assumed it was just a different like game altogether that, you know, it just wasn't on the Nintendo consoles um, for whatever reason. Because we always played the shit out of Turtles in Time. <laughs> Seizure up the wazoo there with the manhole, I know. <laughs> it's not as good in your opinion, but well worth playing. From the brief little, like, uh, like you know, I sound testing and all that, it did still seem fun, but um, we'll kind of get into it more. I know, who doesn't love the Turtles? You think the two games are like cousins? Could probably be considered like that, right? So let's go ahead and start the timer. Let's kick shell. And kick some shell! Now, who am I going to choose, guys? Who am I going to choose? Leo? Mikey, Dawn, Raph, I think the answer is clear. We go with Leo, as we always do. This is April O'Neil reporting, and oh my god, I'm tripping balls. I should have taken those shrooms before broadcasting. Right now, the Statue of Liberty and Manhattan are disappearing. <laughs> no Donnie for you guys this time. That's only in the Turtles 1 game. I have the treasured Hyperstone from Dimension X. He's hella buff, holy shit. It's only a matter of time before I conquer the world. Turtles, I dare you to challenge me. Fucking Shredder's ripped as hell. Ah, hey Shredder, what's going on? He won't let you get away with that, or we won't. We'll find you with our high energy detector. All right. Turtles can't eat cheese, so eating to make them sick. That's how Shredder uh, should kill them, then. He, he is fucking shredded, dude. So, uh, it, it feels very similar to Turtles in Time. You can do a lot of the same things. What throws me off, though, is you can't double tap to dash. That's why there's an actual dash button. I prefer it on a double tap, but I'll kind of have to make do. My instinct is to double tap. He took some roids. He probably did. He was sick of losing to the turtles, so he finally just said, fuck it, I'm gonna get fucking roided up as hell. Mix a little bit of the roids in his, uh, ooze and turn into, like, roided super shredder. One thing I immediately noticed compared to the Super Nintendo Turtles in Time, I can't, like, stun an enemy with a hit and then kind of, like, walk up close to do the slam throw. It doesn't seem to execute, like, the same way. I don't know how you can, like, see, like, I walk up to that. It triggered it there, but more often than not, maybe it takes a swing. Maybe I gotta be positioned differently, because I was trying to find how to make it... Okay, maybe that's it. Maybe I just need to move... I gotta, I gotta move closer than I think. I feel like I didn't have to move as close in Turtles in Time. Yeah, I, super, I mean, super, super Shredder was pretty fucking monstrous. I'm gonna save the pizza. So they don't have a, uh, a partner to fight over it. My brother's not here to steal the pizza from me. I think I gotta snag it now. Cause it's pizza time! Fuck. Having the dash button actually isn't too bad. In some ways, it, it kind of like maybe makes it faster rather than having the double tap, just a quick button press. It's just, it's weird for me to have to reach over for it, but I think you kind of get used to having it. Wow, another pizza. How generous. It's not my fault. I don't remember where all the pizza boxes are. How about, fuck you? How about that? You pizza hog? Pizza shit? I do think this is one Karen that I think uh, my brother and I need to play together. I still wanted to play this uh, for this for Kick-Ass, but I I'm certain I won't make it to the end. Um, regardless, I think this is one that my brother and I should give a try together. I do think it would be fun. Oh, oh, I thought I would have time to grab the pizza, you piece of crap. No, go back in. Go back in for that pizza. This game is creepy. 
Is it Cave 1? Probably not. I don't get Cave 1s. It also sounds really good. It's Genesis, but the music sounds good. The controls feel great. It looks great. Looks great. Sounds great. It, it plays very well. Like, you know, from this beginning part, like, it just seems like a very solid Turtles game all around. I mean, I'll always have a, a soft spot in my heart for, for the Turtles in Time, just because that's what we used to play. But, from what I know, like, this is still a very solid game. I'm trying to... Th uh, it, I don't think you can do that in this one, bro. Wasn't that, like, necessary from, like, Mode 7? Wasn't that a thing or whatever? To be able to throw at the screen like that? I don't know. It only can slam on the ground. I can't, uh... I, I don't think I can throw at the screen. Yeah, it, do it doesn't feel like it. That is a little, uh, disappointing. Yeah, the most it ever does is just the slam. Also, I don't know if this is just because it's the beginning stages, but does this feel easier? I feel like these, these foot soldiers hardly put up a fight. I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't really went into, like, special ones. Ow, ow! I'm getting sucker punched! <laughs> I'm gonna stick this foot right up your ass! Oh, give me that pizza! Oh, oh I should have I should have known! <laughs> You never seen Turtles, Figgy? My brother and I, we grew up on that. Uh, it was one of the big things we grew up on. We had a ton of the VHS tapes, too. Oh, hell yeah, I'm grabbing this shit. Oh, that noise, though. Ow, it's a little high pitched. I'm sorry. They add more enemies and make them harder with two player. Is that, is that, uh, is that right? Because I know we only ever really like to play together. Batter up, bitch! It would explain it. Because I, I, we never really play by ourselves. We always play together. For the most part. Too violent for Baby Piggy. But it's cartoon violence! I know, for some cartoons, that doesn't matter. You might have an old VHS for the Burger King Kids Club. That's awesome, if you still do. <laughs> You heard the third team the team live movie action uh, as it was asked. A lot of people didn't like the third one, uh, I guess, compared to especially like the first and the second. As a kid, I didn't care. I thought it was cool that they went back in time, but when you look at it, it is kind of ridiculous. I don't know. I mean, I would definitely agree though that like I think out of all of them, I think the first movie is still probably the best. Um, it has some dark stuff that happens. It's actually very cool. Like, watching it as an adult, compared to when I was a kid, there's so much more that, like, I didn't pick up on, you know? Like, when Raph gets his ass beat, it's like, that's kind of, like, it's kind of a fucked up scene. It's like, man, he actually gets, like, he gets thrashed, you know? And the turtles are all, like, busted up, and and then what happens with, uh, with Splinter? Oh, shit, it's these fucking guys. Trying to hold off on grabbing this pizza here. Right, I'm gonna grab it now. But yeah, I, 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 I can see why people would not like the third. I get it. Especially when you're comparing it to the other two movies, right? Man, that didn't go so great. The final episode of the air show, The Year You Were Born, dang. Genesis would have improved graphics on more levels, while the SNES would have better sound. I could see that. Shit. The slide is actually very useful for ducking under shit. I'd say graphics-wise, these are comparable. They both look really good. I would say sound maybe is slightly better for the Super Nintendo, but... You're too mature, immature to hang with me. But this still sounds really good. Like, I don't have any real problems with it. Oh shit! I'm just gonna keep charging him.
Ow, didn't mean to stand near him. Come on, can we do this without losing a life? Maybe. Just can't get hit again. Come on. No! Oh, bullshit! Nah, I just don't give a shit. Fuck this guy. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I've been beaten by a bunch of teenage turtles. Hey, you got beat by one, alright? Get it right. Ah, damn it. We could have made that without losing that life. Yeah, uh, David Jin, he, th th those videos, they did a really good job at uh, comparing the two and showing how it's like neither one was like the best at everything. So it's like, you know, why have the console war? Who really gives a shit at the end of the day? <laughs> Can I grab those bottles or are those, is that bad for me? I'm avoiding them because I think they're going to hurt me or something. Say anything? It's just question mark. Question mark. Okay, I can't swing at that. All right, that's just shit. I gotta avoid. No. Oh. Ow! That was sucker punch right at the back of my head. No, I didn't mean to do that. Shit, Mausers! They're flying. Says when can they fly? Is that always a thing? Do I just not remember? Oh my god, I wish these were actually pizzas. Shit, everything's turned purple. Oh, cutscene. Just had pizza for dinner. Nice. It was meant to be kick ass. I told myself if you were here tonight, I was gonna play this. If you weren't, I was gonna try to hold off uh, for a different night. So I think I'd mentioned uh, previously in that other stream. What I'm kind of doing now is, oh, thank God. Okay, you know what? I got the pizza in time. It's, I'll, I'll take it. It's fine. It's kind of dirty though. But uh, I'm trying to have. I'm trying to get my ass kicked. I'm succeeding right now. I want to try to have not just the three games picked out, but like try to have maybe like one alternate because for some of them, depending on what it is, I want the person who suggested it to be here if possible. I can't always do that, but if I can, that's ideal. That's why I wanted to check is like make sure you were still with us because uh, if not, I had an alternate picked out that I could have uh, gone to instead. You know, I can only have so many games prepped, but oh fuck, I completely forgot about those. But when I can make when I can make it work out, like that'll be the best. I gotta really make watch the freaking floor here. The turtles used to eat eat such uh, disgusting pizza. Yeah, when they put like a bunch of weird shit on theirs. I'm very boring. I just like pepperoni and sausage, or like a meat lovers maybe even. Like that's really about it. I hope, uh, 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 Hawaiian pizza too. I know some people don't really like the pineapple. I, I don't, I don't care. Eat what you like, I say. I don't give a shit what you have on your pizza. And yeah, no anchovies, uh, for me either. It's true. They are also eating in the sewers, which, which is not sanitary. So I think at that point, does it really matter anymore? <laughs> Yeah, I, I know, Karen, that, uh, that that whole thing with that, that fucking person kind of, like, soiled the night a little bit for you, but... Fuck that guy.
Yeah, you just gotta be careful. You gotta be aware. You gotta look for those signs. When you, when you feel those red flags go off, you know, trust your instincts, I say. There's a reason why that, that people have that whole gut feeling thing. It actually stems from somewhere, you know, it's not just something that's made up. It's just, we just call it a gut feeling, even though it doesn't actually have anything to do with your guts! Alright, I love the power-up. I hate the sound it makes. Clock's ticking, dude! <laughs> when, when Raph just gets pissed off and says, You know what? Fuck you, Casey Jones! And he's just like, Whoa! Calm down, Raph. This is a kid's movie. And he's like, No, fuck that. You know what, Leo? I'm gonna kick your fucking ass! Fearless leader! Hey, we earned a... Uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, I gotta watch the ceiling. Ah! I gotta watch these guys coming in instead. The more I'm playing it, the more I actually really like having this dash button. I still like to have the option to double tap, though. Having both would have been ideal, I think. Or the option to, to turn it on or off. Nah, I know I was gonna get punched in the back. I'm surrounded, I don't like that. I need to jump attack more, too. To get out of position, or get away from people. I'm gonna beat the absolute shit out of you, Leonardo. Think of the kids. Fuck the kids. <laughs> oh, oh, give me this. Yes, pizza time. In the nick of time. Dude, hell yeah, an R-rated uh, Turtles movie. I'd be down. Oh, here we go again. Barely get to use it. It's barely even worth it. Shit! Oh. <laughs> Could the turtle speak Spanish? Raph's like, I'll fucking learn how to curse in Spanish. Just watch me. Oh, more pizza. Oh, rock steady. You look delicious. I'm hungry for some turtle soup. That's a shredder thing. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm not trying to grab the pizza yet. Charge in, get a few hits. Ow, get kicked. Shit. Ow, okay, trying to grab that pizza. Uh. Why is that? You know what he is? He is walking like a chicken! Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> He's trying to strut his stuff! He's like, does this intimidate you, Leo? Oh, shit, it does! Fuck. Shit, I meant to jump. God damn it. He's attacking faster now. There we go, got him. They do have Italian names. It is true. And they, the Italian Spanish, you know, they're, they're over there. Remember, when I see you next time, I'll beat you. Except for you're dead. You blew the fuck up. <laughs> He's not coming back. Since when do they blow up in the show? Shredder's Hideout. He's feeling very Russian today. No. No. 
shit. Shit, I wanted to slide. I always hated those things. It's because they can laser you from so far away. He's going to say, I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Fuck. I'm trying to slam them just to... Just pick them up and slam them. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. What does the G stand for? It's a good game. Rated G for God damn. Yeah, the more I'm playing this too. Yeah, it's it's not just like a Turtles in Time clone. We're because we're getting different levels. It doesn't have the whole time travel aspect to it. Also, in Turtles in Time, didn't it, wasn't it just the, the, the Statue of Liberty that was, like, stolen? Not, like, the entirety of Manhattan or whatever? She was saying, like, Manhattan's disappearing! I don't remember that from you. Oh, sh oh, it actually counts as falling in a hole. Oh, shit, I'm gonna fall again! Son of a bitch! Ref, Ref just has a lot of issues. Yeah, the intro, it, it definitely is very similar, and that's why, like, the way my brother put it, they're kind of, like, more like maybe cousins. You know, related, but not clones of each other, but, you know, not, maybe not quite as close as brothers, but I don't know. I think that's a, a pretty good way to, like, kind of phrase it. They kind of go, like, hand in hand, for sure. Because they do also play similar. Let me grab the pizza after this. Or you're gonna make it come. You know, I, I don't trust the cutscene. Okay, that like drag me off screen somewhere. Fuck! Jesus! Shit, little mousers, get out of here! I hate mice. Good. We don't need ya! Raph says, I'm gonna go and form my own Turtles gang with Blackjack and Hookers! Yeah, I, and I definitely agree, Kickass. If they were like exact clones of each other, it wouldn't be bad in that at least, you know, depending on whichever console you have, you can, you can go play it. But at the same time, having two different versions, kind of, it does make you kind of want to play both, right? Maybe if you actually had a friend who had the Genesis and you had the Super Nintendo, you could each get one or the other. You know, you had your friend come over, you play the Super Nintendo together, and then you go over to his house, and then you can play the Genesis version. You'd have the best of both worlds then. Like, that was honestly, like, one of the best things. If you had a friend that had the other console, then you could kind of, like, get to experience both games. Because most kids only had one or the other. At least, like, maybe when they were younger. You know, we did, typically. It wasn't until later when we got older did we actually start to get more than, like, one console. Oh, Jesus! I really make contact with that? I'm just gonna stay over here where it's safe. Yeah, fuck this! Out of here. Ah, uh, why couldn't you be a pizza? Pizza power, but it's not a pizza. I can actually use some pizza power right now. Shit, flamethrowers. Shit, I'm dead. Oh, shit, he said that a little weird. Shell shot. Did you, uh, like, sell your, uh, old SNES mag? Because we still have ours. We didn't get rid of any of our old consoles. We still bust them out, you know, like, every, whatever year, randomly, we bust out the old Super Nintendo and start playing Tetris Attack, or 
bust out the Nintendo and play Dr. Mario or Tetris 2 or whatever the hell else. Or bust out the 64 and play, um... What did we play the last time we busted out the 64? I'm trying to remember. I know we busted out and played play the original Smash once. That was weird. You had to sell it. See, I didn't want to do that. Like, you know... I got a friend of mine who, like, sold a bunch of his old games and all that because he just, you know, he didn't want them anymore. He didn't play them. But, like, for me, it's like, oh, man, but, like, I can't get rid of my old ones, you know? Memories and I also like having my collection and, you know, we still come back to them every once in a while. Oh, my God. This one finally turned on. Uh, well, I'm going to hold off on the pizza there. Get those guys a glass of milk. Their mouths are on fire. Oh, I'm getting ganged up on. No, no, you don't. Yeah, Tetris Attack is one that we come back to fairly often. I knew it! I knew the cutscene was gonna not let me grab the goddamn pizza! That's so stupid! Don't put it there, then! Ah! Tatsu, you must defeat my foot soldiers before you fight me! Alright, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait! I must defeat them! Well, stop shooting shit from, like, your crotch or whatever you're throwing! That's bullshit! Oh shit, do I just gotta go straight for him? Oh shit. Fuck! Yeah, fuck the foot soldiers. I just damn it. I just need to close the gap. It's like you must defeat them first. It's like, well, then stop shooting me while I'm fighting your foot soldiers. You asshole. I literally could just kind of ignore them, then and just. Fuck! You gotta use the movement thing to get close that gap, though. He just keeps shooting shit. Where's his ninja arm? He doesn't have any. God damn it! I'm trying to do the slide, but all right, that's really fucking cheap. Stop shooting shit out of your crotch. I don't want anything that's coming out of there. Finally, fuck. Crotchish master! Ah! <laughs> Just blows the fuck up. Oh. Well, for some people, Captain N, for some people, they might need the money, and it's just something that they're not using anymore, so they gotta do what they can. Or maybe they think that they're not gonna want it again, it's not until years later that they realize, oh, I should have kept that. I mean, there, there could be multiple reasons why. Their house is too cluttered, they have to get rid of stuff. For some, their parents might make them get rid of their old stuff like that. But that's why I'd say, for me personally, I can't, I can't I can't part with my old games and stuff. It's... I just can't. Even if it was a bad game. It was just, it was a part of our childhood, you know? I'm much more sentimental about certain things like that uh, than a lot of my friends are. I want to give the game to these guys, but unless I'm already in position, it's kind of hard to get them all. He <laughs> said what, Naruto. Oh god, why him again? You had to sell Genesis when you were 10. Oh, that's cool. Your mom got you uh, a new one as a Christmas present. That's cool. Might be able to get a little more aggressive with him. I can, actually, I can actually interrupt him. The problem is that I'm next to him when he's... I gotta stop swinging sooner, I think. Fuck! And also stop taking knives to the face! Whatever it is he's throwing. Oh, 
Oh, why is there more to the level? That would have been it. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, well, it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Why do I have to fight Roxanne again? Where's Bebop, damn it? Ow, I'm getting my shit kicked in. Oh, my God. Oh, fucking grenades! Oh, my God! Oh my god, what's happening? Oh no! They're saving Bebop for later, apparently. Shit. Ow. Oh, nah, time is up, but we're gonna finish this stage. Fuck. Jesus Christ, he kicks like a truck! Stop throwing nades. Maybe I just need to play slower. Fuck! You can only get so many hits in safely. Because then he kicks back. Oh, yeah, he is a rhino. He's also an asshole. No. Y'all oh, got him. Give me a pizza, damn it. Oh, fuck. Who else did I fight as a boss? Oh, Tatsu. Oh, shit. Fuck. Don't grab me. Fuck, I meant to move. You gotta move. You gotta move up and down the plane to avoid that shit. Yeah, he's gonna shoot a pizza right at his ass. And since it's a pizza, I'll eat it. I don't care where it came from. Fuck you. Tatsu actually, once you get, if you can maintain that rhythm, Tatsu isn't actually as bad. I'd rather fight him than, than, uh, than Rocksteady. <laughs> Shell fucked. Oh, Stockman. My announcers will stop you. Fuck your mousers. I just got a jump kick all day. They can't touch me up here. Maybe. Okay, maybe they can kind of reach me. Get off. You gotta stay on top of it. Come on, one more. Got him. My dear masters have been beaten. You bastard. <laughs> oh, oh, that's why I didn't notice it's called the gauntlet. Jesus. Oh, man. Dead end. 
but the detector indicates that he is close by. The Technodrome. Welcome, puny turtles. Fools feel the wrath of the Hyperstone. Hey, dudes, let's go. Wait, what is the Hyperstone going to do? But we're out of time. Ah, oh, the final Shell Shock, though. Welcome to die. <sighs> I'm torn because, I mean, I could continue, but also I kind of like, <sighs> is the last stage? What do you, I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys want me to finish it? We'll, we'll, we can break, we can bend and break the rules. If, if, if Lobo says that this is the last stage, do it. All right, we'll fucking do it. <laughs> if you say it's the last stage, then I feel like we kind of have to finish it, right? This is the last stage? All right, let's fucking go. We're breaking the rules. I'm breaking my own rules, except for we've already done this before, so it's nothing new to you guys. Here's a big question though, if I continue, where does it continue me from? Right where I'm at? If I lose uh, my lives and I have to continue, I'm not gonna get reset progress wise, right? I kept it on normal. I increased the life and continue count, but I did not change the difficulty. It is on normal. Oh, we're gonna find out. Ow! Yeah, I, th I thought maybe he was going to use the Hyperstone to actually send us back in time, but no, that's... That's not in this one. Oh, fuckers. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, really? That hit me in the air like that? How is that? Ah, oh, how's that a double hit on the point? Come here, you little bastard. See, I'd like you a little more on command actually to slam there, because it hits everything around you. It's also why it's very effective. Now get these mouses off. He's gonna use auto tune next. Auto tune. He has new uh, new hit single coming out. He's gonna call it pizza time. The whole song is just gonna be auto tune. Can I use that portal too? Can I like teleport to the boss? Don't beat me up! Oh god! I set the continues to five. I also up now. Unless setting the, the life and uh, continue count up also affects like whether you get like true ending or get to do the final boss or not. I don't know if that would affect it. I know often changing the difficulty will lock you potentially out of like the final stage or the final boss or true endings for certain games. I don't know about life and continue counts. I know that for some, messing with that does also affect it. Uh, but I don't know. I just want to make sure that I could make it all the way to the end, regardless of anything, without having to, like, save state abuse. Fuck. Did the Turtles have an album and stage show in the 80s? I don't know. Did they? They just need to come out of the shell, man. Uh, I'm, sh I'm sure parents would have complained if the game said, "Oh, shell fucked." I'm Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, you've got to be kidding me! Get off of me! Wow, how did I like gravitate into that? I'm trying to get behind it so I can break them. 
off damn annoying, annoying ass freezing things. We're gonna find out real quick here where it continues put me because I keep getting frozen. There was a concert thing that they did. There's a VHS of it. Was it any good though? Oh god, oh god, oh! Huge blue balls! Turtle tunes! Hit single, let's kick shell! Fuck! Get iced, bitch! Instead of turtle soup, we're gonna have, uh, turtle smoothies! <laughs> now you're reminded of the James and Mike video. Oh god, I got spun, that's right, they can do that. Out of here. Oh, laser beams, shit. shit. I don't like being right here, surrounded like this. Why don't they get hurt by the laser beams? It's bullshit. Fuck, we're about to find out here where I continue from. Be right here. Just be right here. Oh, come on. It's gonna make me at the beginning of this day. You son of a bitch. Ah, oh, okay, it is. Okay, god damn it. Better we find out here than at the final boss, but that sucks. Shit. I changed my mind. We're not finishing it tonight, guys. I'm quitting. Rage quit. Alright, so I gotta be careful. We gotta conserve lives up to the boss. I'll save state like before the boss fight if I have to, because I, I I do want to just show the end of the game, I guess, regardless. So let's not. Let, this is gonna be all about conserving our health and lives. Fuck. And the mouses aren't helping. It's so annoying because when they grab onto you, like it's just it's guaranteed one like thing of damage. These bastards, too. Time to whip it out, lay it all down. Just please keep your pants on. Fuck. Play it safer with those. These blocking guys are so annoying. Are we gonna see Krang? Do you think is, is Krang gonna show up in this? He might. I'm gonna let them come into me here. Make sure I'm not getting surrounded too much. Cause that's where they all get their damage in. That's when they grab me. Fuck. <laughs> when they get really excited. On fire, that's when it happens. <laughs> yeah, we might we might not see Krang or Bebop. I mean, they have Rock City in. Leatherface, Rock City, fucking Tatsu. 
Baxter Stockman. Like, but what happened? Like, Bebop and Rocksteady always have to go together. I know they can't have, like, all the bosses, and that's fine. But if you're going to have one of the pair, they always go hand in hand. It doesn't make sense. Maybe he'll be there just before I fight Shredder? I don't know. Oh, did I say? What did I say? Leatherface? <laughs> I might. Did I say Leatherface? <laughs> Suddenly, Leatherface shows up in Turtles. I say at that point, have Casey Jones fight him. Shit, fuck that. Fuck. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, wait. Freezing shit! Fuck! I hate so much. I hate. That's cheap. That's super cheap! I don't like it! It's bullshit! God, it's a shit. And you need to take them out. You gotta take them out or you're just gonna keep getting fucked by them. Dude, this is not cool. Hold up. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're making a save state here before I get any more fucked. This is ridiculous. One more. I know there was at least four of them when I move up. Oh wait, there's four right there. At least we're earning an extra life here, but... Oh, you piece of garbage. Seriously? Just get ahead of them. They can't touch me over here. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd like to know where I could. Yeah, I got cold feet. Oh my god, oh my god, fuck! The blue balls have come back again. I need to have at least like two spare lives or whatever going into the boss. I'll make a save state there if I have to. Jesus H. Christ. It's not so much the main enemies that are getting me. God damn it, fuck, it's all the stage hazards. to see Elsa get glory killed. So, is there gonna be any in this fucking Technodrome? It wouldn't make sense to have any. Why would Shredder put some pizza out for the turtles? It wouldn't make sense, but come on. Fucking hell. You gotta be kidding me. Get off me. I need that slam to get all this shit off of me. I'm gonna make save states along the way, guys. I don't care. I wanna make sure that, like, I, I don't just whirly choke it. Oh, look at- Aw, oh, come on! Aw, oh, shit, it is Krang! I'll show you the power of Super Krang! Kind of just watch how he behaves. Kind of observing first before I go head first into his ass. Oh, that's right, he like super kicks. Fuck! Super kick! There's still time for Bebop to show up somewhere, you never know. 
Fuck! God damn super feet. Wow, all right. Wait for those missiles to end. He always fires three of them. I'm trying to be kind of cautious. I don't want to just like sack health for no fucking reason. How did that not hit him? How did that not hit him? Gotta be kidding me. Seriously! Fuck you! I mean, honestly, the safest thing to do would just be to wait for him to... Just do that. Do the triple missile, because then I know I can get three hits in after. Except for just, just that shit. Oh shit, what's he doing now? I'm gonna keep walking. Okay. Slow walking's not enough. You're so low. Ah. Get the fuck out of here, Krang. I couldn't stop you, but Super Shredder will- I'm so fucked. Give me a new stage. Give me a re stage reset. What the fuck? You said last stage, guys. What's going on? Uh, am I gonna be in trouble? I'm gonna try to conserve this bloody pizza. It's the part of the last. Yeah. You had. You had love what you had done me how long it was. You were so confident, too. You were like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's the last stage. <laughs> I trusted you guys. Because I seriously might need the help of a second player to make it farther. What I'm wondering is, if well, if you're doing two player and one player loses all their lives, does the continue just continue right there? Or do you both have to reset the beginning of the stage, like, like Battletoads? <laughs> From now on, Karen, I only listen to you. <laughs> Get riggedy, riggedy, riggedy wrecked. I should position myself right here so if a cutscene makes me walk to the door, it'll grab the pizza along the way. I should never trust you guys. Yeah, I've learned my lesson now. You think I would have learned it before? You guys love to see me suffer and shit. I trusted you guys. I mean, it seemed very final. It's like, oh yeah, it's a Technodrome. Like, goddamn, it, it takes a while to get there. I'm in real trouble, too. I only have one spare life. I'm about to earn one back in seven kills. Fuck. I almost want to grab the pizza out of safety just to make sure I don't miss it. I might just do that after this kill. I just can't. Okay, I, I just, I'm just not certain if the elevator's gonna suddenly kick me off, you know? Jesus, how. Oh shit, there's still more. They look like a flying, spicy meatballs. Get back kick. 
not doing me any good here. It's a shoulder charge. See, and that's the kind of thing, bro, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm worried it's gonna do something like that, and then I won't get the pizza. So it's like, I'd rather grab it when I'm just like fairly low and not wait to the last pixel. Nope, nope, I don't like this position. Get out of there. Oh, no, see, oh, oh, well, see, it kind of, and it moved me upwards. It probably would have skipped the pizza. Save state, save state. I don't care. We're making save state, guys. This is how we're doing it. Do I really have to try to beat Super Shredder with only two lives? There's no fucking way. Not without safe state abusing like an asshole. Ah. Uh, I'll show you the real power of the Hyperstone. Because doesn't this shit have like insta kill shit? And like that, right? Can't he just turn me into a, a little fucking baby turtle? I don't want to be near him. I don't want to be near him like this. Oh. Fuck, I get me out of the corner. He's got me blocked. I gotta get behind him for the fire to, to, to work. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, corners are bad. I gotta get him out of the corner. I gotta get him out of the corner. I need room to get behind him. I don't just I don't trust the green one. I don't want to get anywhere near that if it's insta kill. Get over here where I can see you more. Shit! Oh fuck! Come over here more. Fire is kind of the best one to deal with because I know which way he's going with that shit. Does he have another form? That can't be it. Holy shit! The Hyperstones! Did we do it, guys? We did it! Holy shit! Shredder is way easier! The evil villain, Shredder, has been defeated! Yeah, he fucking fell from a height. It's gonna probably kill him. And our city has been returned to its normal size. Who is really responsible for saving this city? The true answer is shrouded in mystery. Bullshit! This has been April Near reporting. Good night. Uh, it even has the kid going like, yay! Pizza power. Holy shit! They look kind of demented. Donnie and uh and, and Leo especially. Mike not so much. Raph is making a similar face, but like, I don't know, what is it about? It's about their teeth in their eyes or something. Kind of freaky looking. And <laughs> now Raph's about to die. Just like in that, nobody gives a shit. He's like, guys, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna... <laughs> Cause you know what? Because the more I was fighting him, I was scared about his like auto kill or his his, his being able to like insta kill me, turning me into like a baby turtle. But really, as long as you just you just move elevations. After he's launching his fire, you go behind him. Or he's launching the blue, you just go behind him. It was actually very straightforward. I don't know. I don't know why I feel like uh, it was so much harder on the other one, but... Whatever. I'll take it. I was safe stating along the way. I did not have to load any. So technically, I did not... Uh, I didn't cheat. <laughs> I, set up my, I set up myself to, uh, to cheat, but I didn't have to resort to it, technically. Yes, I increased the continuing life count. Without the life count increase, it would have been a lot harder. I would have been playing so much safer. 
definitely, I, I definitely, it's it's still a great game. This one and Turtles of Time, both great games. I think between the two, I'm, I'm still going to be partial to Turtles in Time. I also do think it's cool that you go back in time like that, so it takes you to like different uh, themed levels. Um, oh man, shit. Guys, we're only ninth. For those of you who were there for the Toe stream, you know what a nine means. How do I? There we go. Put ass. No, 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 no. We gotta put, uh, we gotta put our real gamer initials. They are Japanese turtles. We do play on harder difficulty SNES, so that could also be a reason why. Oh, do we, bro? If we play it on hard, maybe that's what I'm. why it, it, it felt not so bad for this. Along with the fact that you said, like, if it's two players, it, it, it makes it harder as well. Both of those combined could be why this felt different. It, yeah, Bebop didn't show up at all. I'm very surprised. Turtles in Time had them both, you know? I think for that reason alone, Turtles in Time gets a big plus, because it has more of the, the, the people show up, you know? Again, though, not a bad game. I think this is a very, very fun, very solid game. I just would have preference over the tur to the Turtles in Time one, but I, I feel like just why not play both, you know? Definitely play this with the second player, though, too. It's always more fun with two. <laughs> Troll Mikey face. My face. I'm a nine. Baka. Yeah, exactly. I'm a fucking nine. Uh... Yeah, we play harder, they don't block on the easier modes. So, okay, see, bro, is that why it felt like it was easy for me to beat up on most foot soldiers? And it was really the stage hazards that were getting me killed more than anything? Because that would explain that. Holy shit. What was that, eight, 880 points? You'd have to, like, kill everything the entire way by yourself and not uh, have to use continue. Do I, do I have the stones? You asking me if I got the stones? I got the stones, bruh. <laughs> yeah, Bebop was like, you know what? Nah, I'm sticking with Nintendo. If you can have both flavors, lick both. That was fun. I, I, I am glad, though, that we decided to go ahead and press on uh, and finish the game. We went way over time. I'm not sure by how much. We probably went a whole nother half hour almost, but you know what? That's okay. That is okay. <sighs> Let's go ahead and let me do this. Minimize that. We're going to wind down here for tonight, guys. Only five minutes? Bullshit, it was five minutes. Five minutes, my ass! It's like the second game I finished on stream. I know I haven't finished many. Um, I mean, that's kind of a given, most being only 30 minutes. Uh, Captain Silver, we technically finished abusing save states, but that was a really short game, you know? Um, there might have been one other or so that I finished like without save states and whatnot, just because it naturally was a short game. But most of the ones I, I, I've been picking have gone way longer. Or I had to like super extend time to, to get as far as I did, if it's beating it or not. Not counting, of course, the ones that I came back to play in that uh, one week where we did a special and continued games. Like I came back and finished the, the Game Boy Ninja Gaiden, for example. You know, that wasn't in one segment. Was it my target time? No, we way shot past the target time. I've seen myself in Mikey, and it is as if the devil himself has laughed at me. I'll be 45 minutes over. Okay, fif yeah, 15 over maybe. You know, 15 to 20 minutes over probably. Five minutes in Dragon Ball time. Shit. I actually watched a clip on um on YouTube. Someone put a, a video of uh, the fight between Frieza with it actually taking five minutes. They literally trimmed out like all the bullshit and literally the fight. I think they might have even had a timer up. The fight lasted five minutes. And you really honestly didn't m miss much with everything that was cut out ultimately, so it was kind of funny to watch it because <laughs> they really dragged that on. 15 minutes, 5 hours, 2 years, no worries! Oh, wait a minute. 
We don't have our, uh... Almost forgot that, because it's game over. Yeah, if, if I had to say, like, if there was really one thing about Hyperstone Heist, I guess that's truly missing, it would be Bebop. It's weird to have Rock City without Bebop. Otherwise, the other bosses, fine. You know, the length of it, you know, it's not super long game. It has two player, the graphics are good, the sound's good, the control is good. Um, everything about it feels right. That's probably really the only point that I would say that uh, I would change. Otherwise, the game itself as a whole is fine. I think it's still solid. Yeah, my brother's watched more of the uh, of the DBZ abridged. I've caught bits here and there, but I never committed to actually watching uh, the entire thing. From what I, from what I watched, though, that that shit is really funny, and it's kind of hard to watch the original after you've watched the abridged because all you can imagine is the the characters saying all their abridged lines. You never kind of look at the uh, the original anime the same way. Bebop, biggity bounced out of here. <laughs> One out of ten, IGN would not play again. Listen here, maggots. <laughs> Fucking Mr. Popo. Well, I mean, the, the bringing back the bosses to fight, okay, fine, they did a boss gauntlet. But yeah, I, I feel like, really, either Rocksteady should have, uh, a Bebop should have followed right after Rocksteady, or they should have came in at the same time. Just <coughs> just try not to make them too bullshit if, uh, if you're going to have a, a, a double boss fight. Try to make it at least a little fair for the player. Because that was in, uh, in Turtles in Time. You uh, you fight them, like, on the pirate ship or whatever, right? And the whole idea is when you finally beat them, then they start, like, hitting each other, and then they both, like, blow up and fly away. Right? So it, it not only it had them, but it actually had them fighting uh, together. That's stupid. You're stupid. Stop being stupid. <laughs> Why did I have to fucking too much water? I for Mag, I forget what that's, uh... What is that from, Mag? I recognize that. Um, it was from some review for something, right? And it was, everyone thought that, like, that, that just sounded stupid. But then there was, there, it, it was just like a, uh, wasn't it just like a case of, like, the headline being a little misleading and what they meant by it? Like, if you actually read into it, there was more to what they meant, but just reading the phrase too much water didn't make sense. I know, I, I know I read whatever article or saw whatever it was for, a re game review or whatever. Too much filler, not enough preservatives. They didn't have Toka and Ra Ra Razar either. Um, truly, they didn't have the Red King. But see, like it, at least, um, you know, they can't have every boss, and a lot of those bosses are their own bosses. It's just that Bebop and Roxanne are so iconic as always being together, especially like in the show. So that's why it's especially weird to have them. Uh, having them separate is one thing. Having the other one not show up at all is is the really weird point. The Rat King sounds like he make a nice rat burger. I'm guessing you ain't gonna speedrun this Turtles game. Hell no. <laughs> Part of me thinks someday maybe I might go back and try to con improve my time further on the first Turtles game because I know I can improve my time if I do the skips faster. Particularly in the Technodrome, I still blew like 30-35 seconds. So I know I could time save there easily, but it's it's a lot to try to get a perfect run in that game. It's 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 not easy. And then trying to get a good run going and get cave one. You guys saw like the video for like the failures, and th that wasn't even all the footage. I had so many fails of not getting cave one. It was ridiculous. Pokemon Sapphire remake, you think? Yeah, because uh, wh whatever game it was, I know it's like the 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 whole phrase of just too much water. It didn't like if you just read that, it didn't make sense for the game that you're talking about, right? If you didn't know what they really meant by that, be hilarious to MSC three all to be on Demolition Man, dude. I love Demolition Man though. I fucking love a lot of those old ass uh, action movies, well as action stars Arnold and and Sylvester Stallone and all that shit. I can't get enough of those. We grew up watching uh, those with our dad a lot. He'd be the Burger King. And Baxter wasn't, uh, he wasn't in his fly form, huh? Because uh, he's in his fly form in Turtles in Time. He's like the first boss, right? Isn't that you're like, you're on the, you're on like that, that tower or whatever. And he's the first boss I think you fight. 
Uh, but for this, yeah, he wasn't uh, he wasn't in his fly form. I don't necessarily mind that so much. It was cool he seen Baxter in there, even though he was uh, he was a very easy boss, at least on normal. You literally just keep air kicking, and as long as you keep up the rhythm, like you're really not in that much danger. Technically, you're just miss. Yeah, but you know what? I've I've seen the world record run kick ass. It's by um. I don't want to get his name wrong. It's not Skunky. Is it Stunky? Is it? It's not Sneaky. I'm sorry. I don't remember his uh, what his name is. Um, it's something. It's something similar to, to to that. I've seen his world record speed run. God damn. Like just. I mean, like I would never be able to achieve that level of of good. Um, but uh, it's it it's really fun to watch that run because it's it's just insane how just nailing everything you know. Because, yeah, it's like, if I'm minutes away can mean a lot, right? In a run that's only X number of minutes long, you know, a minute is forever. A minute in Super Mario Brothers is forever. A minute in, like, say, a Wind Waker, you know, Zelda Wind Waker speed run, that's very little because it's like, that's a super long-ass game. It's a small percentage of the total time, you know? But when the when the actual run is, you know, four minutes and something, if you're a minute off, you're like, you know we're even close, right? It's all relative, probably try cave three from now on i actually thought about a captain N. there are other categories for uh the thing if you're actually like looking at like speed you know speedrunlive.com or whatever it is there actually are categories for like hitting all three cave or two cave so it's almost like if you were running that then you don't necessarily care if you get cave three because that's kind of the intention in some ways that would actually be less stressful um you just have to get good at going through every cave entrance and checking them you know and it would just, it would just take some practice too much water is wet, or are you just happy to see Mikey? <laughs> In other news, water is wet. <laughs> to the graveyard with it. Oh, if, he, if they had him uh, in his fly form in a live action movie, that could be pretty cool. Bananasaurus Rex. Spelunky World Record Speed Man. He did a solo eggplant run. I have no idea what that means. The Burger King married the Dairy Queen. They both lived together in White Castle and had a son named Hardy's Jr. <laughs> uh, I think the only time I've ever been to a, a Dairy Queen was, my brother might remember, when we were out when Pokemon Go first came out. I think we were with Shimmy and we took a, we took a break while we were playing. I think we stopped by the, the Dairy Queen. Uh, and grab like a drink or whatever. Um, I think before we went to the pier. Uh, and then like when I was visiting a, a friend out in, in Southern Cali. Uh, I think we went there during the evening. I think that was, I think, was it the Dairy Queen we went to? And that's where the whole thing of me shutting out the window, I ain't afraid to get shot happened. I can't remember. <laughs> it might have been. Eggplant run is the hardest run in the game. <laughs> he said, you have to be Super Shredder. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to be fucked, but he was comparatively easier than, uh, than, than Krang. Krang was also just a little more annoying because he moved around the way he did. Like, I could have been more patient and it wouldn't have been so bad. It's not like he was, like, damaging me a ton. He was just very annoying. Shredder was much more predictable. You just back off, watch his movement, and then just get behind him. He was much easier in comparison for that. It's just that I guess if we were playing on the hard difficulty, maybe that's where he does the thing where he shoots the thing at you and and that's when you get uh, insta turned into a baby turtle. You know, insta kill stuff. That, that, that's what's dangerous. Dairy Queen makes you feel like you're going to spend a long time in the bathroom. Krang had that bison slide, though. He had the fucking... Not quite the bison boot, but he came with just his flying foot right at my fucking face. <laughs> he does move around a lot in Turtles of Time, but not as annoying, yeah. You used to work at a Dairy Queen. You had a blizzard that was cookie dough, brownie bits, and caramel. So good. You know, I, when it comes to stuff like cookie dough flavoring, uh, for, like, like cookie dough ice cream or anything like that, I was never huge on cookie dough. 
I, I think it tastes fine, but I think you guys know I'm fairly boring with a lot of my stuff like that. Like, I, if you ask me, like, what flavor of ice cream I want, I want vanilla. Yes, I know, vanilla is very boring. I don't care. I just like the taste of it, you know? I put a little caramel on it, though. I love caramel. I don't have it very often, but, uh... Maybe it's because I don't have it that often. When I do, it's a really nice, uh, tasty treat. <laughs> did I, I... I did a literary huh? Flying foot right at my fucking face. Uh... Vanilla is your favorite? I don't know what my brother would say is his favorite. We both grew up eating a lot of vanilla. He might have a different preference now. But for me, it's always still just been vanilla. Vanilla with sprinkles. I generally don't. Uh, I usually just have just straight vanilla. I also like having vanilla for, um, for Coke floats. That was another big thing growing up. Um, that, you know, our dad would sometimes be like, hey... You want a coke float it's like oh yeah it's like we get super fucking excited it's like oh we'd make the coke float and it was just it was fun and it tastes good and it's just like ah oh, you know it's not like that's the only reason that i like vanilla but that's just that's uh that's just another thing connected to it you know for me it's just like i don't know i don't care to necessarily have a bunch of like you know stuff in mind um like the one of the only like three times I've ever been to a Cold Stone, which is an ice cream place. Um, I got vanilla and then I got like, I put, I think sprinkles and I think gummy bears in. And I did not realize, I didn't think ahead how hard the gummy bears would get when you put it in, the, in that ice cream like that. You can't chew those at all. They become like rock hard. And I was just like, oh, this is a bad idea. I still finished it though, but uh, <laughs> I should have thought about that more. Pistachio, I say, fuck that as ice cream. Oh, Lydia from uh, the Beetlejuice cartoon. We used to watch the uh, the Beetlejuice cartoon a lot uh, as kids. It's always weird though because I I knew from the movie like. It's been a long time since I've watched the actual live-action movie with, uh... Because isn't it Michael Keaton, uh, who plays Beetlejuice in that? Like, I always remember, uh, like, Beetlejuice essentially kind of, like, being, like, I don't know, the bad guy in that movie. See, I don't even really remember the plot of it. So, either way, I just find it very weird that in the cartoon, he was just, like, they were just friends and they would just, like, chill and hang out. I'm like, I don't know, wasn't he, like... Were they trying to get rid of him in the movie? To me, it just kind of it was weird in the cartoon seeing uh, seeing him portrayed a little differently. But maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Snort that coke float. I didn't snort, okay? Nor did I inhale. I did not inhale. We just had some vanilla ice cream this evening. Unfortunately, your dad brought some more uh, bought the more fattening kind. Whereas the blue bunny vanilla ice cream, I had better numbers. See, I never pay attention to the numbers on shit. <laughs> I should. I don't. I do actually have a... I don't know if I cracked it open yet or not, but um, when I was last at the store, I told myself I'm going to grab some more uh, vanilla ice cream, because fuck it. So I did. You poured vanilla extract on your ice cream? Oh no, on fire. Hold, I, I have a story to that that's similar uh, uh, to yours. Let me just catch up on the chat, make sure I'm, I'm up to date here. Oh, you chipped a tooth on one of those gummy bears? Dude, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, that shit gets really hard. Like, it's no joke. Like, you can't, like, chew through it. You have to just, like, keep it in your mouth and, like, warm it up again. It's the only way you can even, like, make progress on it. In line is a great healthy ice cream. Yeah, I went on a rider. Put a few drops of vanilla actually in your French vanilla coffee sometimes. You, you fucking poured it on there. Uh, so, uh, what, what I did as a kid, being... Uh, I was really young. I, as a kid, didn't know what pepper was. Like, I didn't understand what pepper did or what it was. I just know that sometimes it went on food. And I was like, I'm going to try some pepper. But I'm like, but I'm not going to have it just, like, outright. I put some pepper in a, in a little uh, cup of milk. And I'm like, I like milk. I'm going to put some pepper in it. Let me just so I can try it. It didn't taste good. It didn't taste good at all. I mean, it was like, oh, oh, salt, uh, pepper's terrible. Oh, and I didn't know what to do with the milk because I'm like, Shh, what do I do? I think I ultimately ended up tossing it, you know, dumping it. I didn't want to dump it because I knew that was a waste. But I was like, 
I cannot consume this. This tastes horrible. Never made that mistake again. It's like, I was really young, and I, I did not know what pepper was. I just saw, oh, it's like seasoning, or like, I think I had the concept of like, what like seasoning kind of was. I just knew it was something like, you put it on top of food, you know, and it makes it taste better. So I was like, let me put it in this milk. Maybe it'll make it taste better. Fucking idiot. I learned though. I never made that mistake again. Probably make it more kid friendly. Yeah, right. Cause she, she hated his guts in the movie, and, and in the cartoon they were friends. And I can totally see why. It's like if you're gonna make it a cartoon, well, they can't be enemies, right? They got to make it like fun for kids. They did the same thing for Little Shop of Horrors because they made a uh, Andre Seymour were friends in the movie and different story at the end. Yeah. Dude, it straight up tasted like alcohol. <laughs> Yeah, peppered milk. <laughs> I know. And again, it, it wasn't because I thought like, oh, pepper and milk will go good together. It's just because I was like, I can't really just like have pepper on its own. I'm like, I need, I need some way to consume it. So I thought if I just put it in a liquid, I could then drink it to get the taste of it. And just, I just happened to choose milk because I liked milk. I drank a lot of it as a kid. You know, I didn't want water because like, ah, water's boring. Like, put some milk in it. You tried some ginger beer before. Don't inhale before taking a sip. I don't think I've ever tried ginger beer. I don't know if any of us have ever had. Some of us might have. I got a couple of friends that are way more into uh, into beers than I am. Now, Dr. Pepper and milk. Nah, still not good. Mustard milk story from your from your kind of years. Crazy ass kid who dumped three packets into his milk. Ugh. 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 <laughs> When I was a kid, my dad was barbecuing outside. He had this his cup next to the grill. I picked it up and drank it. It was salt. Oh no, Mag, no! Oh, did you induce vomiting? <laughs> Ginger beer is good. I'm not huge on like just beer in general, so it's like unless you know a bunch of my friends were having it and they're like, "You should try this." I mean, I might give it a taste. I wouldn't count on me necessarily liking it though, but you never know. There's like certain alcohols, you know, I've tried some, I find ones that I don't like, I find ones that are actually really good, but I barely drink alcohol either, you know? I don't drink any anymore, but like even back then when I would have like shots with like my cousins or something like that, you know, occasionally I'd find something I actually liked. They were originally going to make a sequel where they went to Hawaii and it never happened. I didn't know there was going to be a sequel. There were talks about another one being made, but it still hasn't happened. You never know. You never, movies get, re and sequels and stuff get revivals all the time. It could happen randomly someday. You never know anymore. Ginger beer is really strong aroma. That's why I say don't inhale. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. If it's yeah, because if it has a strong aroma, then it might turn me off from even trying it if I don't like the smell. We could create the pepper and milk challenge. Ugh, kids would do it. Yeah, I'm sure they would. We'll start a new viral craze. Ginger beer is like root beer, not alcoholic usually. Oh, love that. That doesn't sound so bad then. I like root beer. Um, I've been to some places that has had some really good root beer. Um, if it's more like that, I, I would definitely be more inclined to give it a shot then. Surprised it didn't cause you to foam at the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> or just keel right over right then and there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Game over. One time you did the habanero pepper challenge where you had braces. Oh no, seeds got stuck in them. God, oh god, that's, having braces can suck as it is. Throwing that on top of it, dude, forget it. So waiting for a live action movie based on the cartoon of Blue Juice with their friends. Again, you never know, they, I, they could bring back Beetlejuice. Juice. They can bring back damn near everything else. Ginger beer, strong, strong like bear. You really need to like ginger. Eh, that puts it maybe more in the like, eh, eh, territory for me. I don't know if I necessarily like or dislike ginger. Reminds me of that. Why is kids you know butter bars with a little kid? He says, oh, my poor little heart <laughs> falls over. Also, I'm reminded of another stupid thing I did. Again, this was when I was really young. I once uh, went to have a bowl of cereal. Uh, I'm trying to think of what cereal it was. It might have been Cheerios. I wasn't really like a huge fan of Cheerios as a kid, but that's just what we had. Um, and uh, I, I poured the bowl, and then I went to check for milk. We didn't have any milk. And I was like, damn. But I'd already poured the bowl of cereal, 
And so, like an idiot, again, I was really young, I thought, well, I know milk goes good with it, and I like milk. I also like Coke. You know, I like soda. I didn't have it often as a kid, but I like uh, Coke. I'll just have cereal with the Coke. Man, you take something that you like eating and something that you like drinking, but then you put it in the bowl, that shit don't mix. It was awful. I don't know which one was worse, that or the pepper milk. Either way, I couldn't finish that either, as much as I tried. It just, ugh, it wasn't good. I, I think I just experimented a little too much as a kid with some stupid stuff like that. It, these are really like the only two instances I can think of off the top of my head that I remember of doing f stupid food stuff. <laughs> but I'm just like, man. Again, I learned from that though. Never again did I ever try to substitute milk for uh, having it with cereal. So. Only the one time did I waste uh, the cereal on that and that soda. <laughs> Kids be dumb, and I was no exception. Yeah, Coke cereal. Fucking Christ, I know. So, so stupid. Characters from uh, Barbara and Adam and Otha from the movie were not in the cartoon. Uh, which characters were those? It's been forever since I've actually seen the movie. I assume, what, were those like the, the, the two, um, uh, the, the woman and the man? Were they like the, uh, the, the main characters? They had Charles and... Delia? Delia? You should have both sometimes if you like them now. Hell to the no. It's not like things are going to change after like 25... Uh, closer maybe to like, I don't know, 28, 29 years or whatever. I don't remember how old I fucking was. Speaking of dumb th things kids do, my cousins once swallowed a bunch of spider eggs because he thought it would make him Spider-Man. Oh god, no! Oh no! Oh, make it stop. Kick-ass no! Ah, oh, that's disgusting. That's also, that's not how Spider-Man is created. You gotta get bit by a radioactive spider. And even then, in real life, you'd probably just die. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're not actually that surprised. <laughs> Another one, this one is my own fault. You woke up late to catch your bus to school when you were kids. So you went to the bathroom to brush your teeth. The toothpaste tasted weird. I then look and see that I was accidentally brushing my teeth with itching cream. Ah, ah. Oh, that makes me want to itch my teeth now. Ugh. Ugh. God, I, I need to eat dinner like after this, guys. You guys are making gonna make me lose my appetite. <laughs> the two married couple that died. Okay, so yeah, it, it, that, uh, I couldn't remember their names. I can picture them though. One of them was uh, who was the actor? Uh, the male. It's I forget his name. Who the fuck his name is? I, I I can picture his face. They were not in the cartoon at all. I do remember that though. That it re it really just focused on uh. On Beetlejuice uh, and, and the girl. Alec Baldwin. Okay, there you said it. Yeah, Alec Baldwin. There you go. Gina Davis. I would never have been able to tell you the, the woman's name, but Alec Baldwin, yeah. When he was much younger. That's how you become Spider Mom. Spider Mom tells you not to put that in your mouth. If you do, it'll taste bad. Then you're gonna get sent to your room, you idiot. Kids do really dumb things. And that terrible song, I know. <laughs> yeah, you just ate. Oh, also, I think I saw her um, in the uh, in the chat before. I forget. Uh, oh, she's, I think she's not here right now. I'll um, I'll show the pictures next time when uh when, when Piggy's around. Um, I meant to show that earlier, but uh, she was the one who originally asked uh for for pictures of uh of my pets. I'll save that for when she's uh when she's on. So, and at some point, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. Uh, I was able to pull out some uh, some pictures. So I'll just tease you for now. You don't get to see it right now. Later. Someday. You had to skip breakfast because the taste was still there? Yeah, it's, I'll bet. <laughs> they had Lydia's parents. You would have thought they would be in it too. Did you ever see Lydia's parents in uh, in the movie? I can't picture them, but again, it's been forever since I've actually seen the movie. That's a movie that I should go back and actually watch as an adult now, because as a kid, I, I'm sure a lot of details I just completely, like, did not, like, pick up on. Like, because I don't even really remember the plot of the movie, you know? There were a lot of movies as a kid that I just kind of watched and then I liked, but I never really truly picked up on everything, you know? 
Kids, why you do these things? <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I think it would be cool if we see like another uh, a, a more modern uh, Beetlejuice movie. They gotta do it right though. Don't ruin it. You know, for me, Beetlejuice is a is is an old favorite. It's an old classic. Wow, kick ass, you have five dogs and three cats. Damn, I thought it was crazy when I had five cats. The mommy cat and then her four kittens, which we all, uh, we ultimately ke uh, kept all of them. We're down to just the one cat now. She's old. She's like 19 years old. She's, uh, she's the eldest of all the four kitties, too. Eldest by, like, mere minutes. But, uh, it's just her and then the doggy that we have now. And that's it. Pet pictures uh, might make your stomach pains go away. Yeah, I know you guys have mentioned a uh, Skippy. We were talking about that the other time uh, 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 on fire about dog food. Look, I'll admit, some of that like dog food and stuff, it smells good. I smell I'm like I'm not gonna eat this, but it smells good. It probably tastes about as good as it smells, so it's kind of like. You know, some dog food just like, oh, it smells like dog food. Oh, I don't care. Other ones like, that smells like something that like is actually like made for people. It's got that flavor, or whatever, to it. So it's like, hey, some of that stuff smells good, good enough to eat, especially if you were desperate and you needed to. You don't think they should make a Beetlejuice remake? Are, are you afraid that they'll mess it up? Because that would be my concern, is that they would uh, they would mess it up. I mean, I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be a remake. I mean, it could be just a sequel of some sort. I don't know. Beetlejuice is back, baby. And they got to put him back in the box again or however they, they get rid of him. I don't know where he goes. He shrunken down in that little town model or whatever the hell it was. She said that the voice for Lady in the cartoon was how she would talk a lot in life. Probably easier for her to do that role than if it was just kind of like natural for her. Has Crackle, Adam, Dahlia, Violet, Snoopy, Derby, and Honey. Seven Jack, Jack Russell Beagles and one Basset Hound Beagle mix. I love the <laughs> Snoopy. I hate the dog food. Bean boozled. Yo, he always feared the brown beans. You're concerned it wouldn't be as good. And, I, and it's a totally legitimate concern, Karen, because... Hollywood fucks up a lot of movies. It's it's just, you know, sometimes I just don't... I think they just, like, don't understand the source material or their audience. I don't know. Well, we're winding down on the time here because it's been 30 minutes. We also went long on the uh, on the Turtles game here. Um, so we should... Uh, we're going to wind it down here, guys. It's been about half an hour. And I do need to eat again. Just try not to think about all these other uh, things we've been talking about. Ugh. Humans can eat dog food, cat food, but it's obviously not recommended. Right, and it's it's not like it's going to kill you. But, I mean, it definitely uh, it's not meant for humans. It's just, you know, sometimes some of that stuff smells uh, kind of good, you know? Give it a little bit of a taste. You have one of your, your dogs a special pill for it to not get fleas, and it smells... It smells... Uh, I, I, for some reason, I read that it smells kung fu delicious. Instead of fucking delicious, but both might work. It smells kung fu delicious, like chocolate. <laughs> Beetlejuice sounds like a flavor of Mountain Dew. <laughs> they should do that. Hollywood the jelly bean. Would you? Would you eat it? You're gonna go. <laughs> you're gonna put pepper in your milk and eat some spider eggs for dessert. You do that. You tell me how it turns out for you. Because I already know how that's going to end. It's going to end very poorly. Selena Gomez, Sophia Carson, Elizabeth Gillies are good candidates for Lydia if they make a movie based on the cartoon. Write to Hollywood, Captain N. Tell them to do it. Write to who in Hollywood? I don't know. Just e just write a note to Hollywood. I guess email uh, Hollywood at Hollywood.com. Here's my movie idea. Make it. <laughs> You saw Kung Fu Delicious too, <laughs> Mega Man. Okay, see, I'm not the only one who read it that way. It's very silky. Yeah, ugh. 
let's just say you're going to have some stuff crawling around your stomach later on if you do that. Uh, but all right, guys, like I said, let's, let's go and wind it up. It's 10 o'clock my time. I gotta, uh, I'm going to eat while I get this up on YouTube for tomorrow. Uh, next week will be another week of Genesis. Um, yeah, another week of Genesis. Uh, so we'll do that. I already got uh, games picked out, so we're good on that. But we're going to go ahead and officially wrap this up here, guys. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. We had a lot of people today. Uh, Bro, On Fire, Kick-Ass, Captain N, Karen, Magus. Uh, I think I saw Piggy. Uh, uh, yeah, Piggy was in briefly, wasn't she? Um, Mag. Coolio, uh, I think you might not be here anymore. It um, it doesn't look like it. I saw you were in there originally. I, I suspect that uh, it didn't have low-quality options for you to, uh, to, to watch it along because I know you need it to be uh, low, uh, low strain on your internet right now but uh shout outs to coolio uh lobo uh good seeing you uh did anyone else show up guys i think that's everyone do i just do the sh the, the shout out for everybody shout outs to moxie star shimmy soul cell jazz sun t donut juju did i get karen i'm pretty sure i got karen if not karen again <laughs> So it's good seeing all you guys. I think we got everyone for the most part. Hopefully, uh, uh, Magus will uh, feel better um, getting over that shot. Um, I'm sure he'll be fine. That, that's kind of natural. So um, give it a day or two or whatever. I'm sure he'll be he'll bounce back. Uh, I'm trying to think if anything else is upcoming for uh, for for the schedule. Um, not that I can think of. Uh, the usual. This will go up tomorrow. Um, I got to get the next amateur hour done for next week. Um, still something else in the works, but not ready yet. But I will let you guys know when that is ready to go. We will end up having um, an extra stream uh, somewhere at some point. Uh, but we're not ready. We're not there yet. So I'll let you guys know. Going to weave your way out of the chat. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll check out that episode, Captain N. We'll, uh, we'll talk about it uh, on the next, uh, next week. Um, I'll definitely have watched it uh, by then. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm also glad you were able to make it out uh, to this one, kick ass. I really wanted to play the turtles game, but I wanted you to be here for it. So uh, I'm glad that worked out. <laughs> yeah, we still got to get our shots to uh, Captain N. We just it's it's just kind of hard uh, right now, depending on uh, your age and what group you fall under and all that. But over, you know, in in due time, we will be getting ours uh, as well. All right, I think that's everything. Thanks, guys, again for coming out. And I will catch you guys uh, next week. And it'll be another good time. All right, guys. Have a good night. See ya.